Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. Look what I got here today in my shop. It's a 1991 Toyota pickup. And this is absolute classic. Do you not say? Everybody wants to know. It has approximately 240,000 miles, right? Look at it. This is classic. These are the trucks people keep. They don't sell them ever, right? And they keep it for what? Going to do dump and running errands, maybe, right? These are hard to ever find for sale. So this one came for thorough inspection and came back to the owner. She was lending it to someone for a long time. And she wants to know in what shape and condition it is. In this video, right, we will not admire this another classic which is the four cylinder 22 re but i would like to open with you the distributor it's pretty dirty on outside a lot of oil i pulled the spark plug number one which was there and there were white ashes on it so i'm wondering what is happening inside of this distributor if you want to see what is there and what the shape it is stay with me in this video so let's go together and remove the distributor cap and see what is inside of the distributor now i can see there are two screws one here one here sometimes they are super tight and the phillips screwdriver won't work but this one this screw actually gave up nicely so Let's see if the other one, which is even harder to get to, if it will go off easily too. I have a magnet here ready. Sometimes the screws hold on the distributor cap. They are not removable. Mm, this one was easy also. So that's good. These screws are actually falling off. Whatever, yeah. It's just a different version. So. I was right, there are only two of them. Come on, there's not much space here, right? It's always the other one which gives a trouble, which is hard to reach. And I don't want to waste your time. All right, what we will see inside of this distributor cap. So I'm immediately cleaning that possible oil that doesn't belong there, obviously, right? I just started this inspection, so I don't know what is leaking where, but here is an o-ring which stops that oil uh, from coming in. And let's focus the camcorder on this cap and especially on these contacts which are inside. I want to show you something important. You see with me here, right in the distributor, it's actually a rotor. So this is the rotor and this is the tip, which distributes that super high voltage to these contacts. This is four cylinder, so it's four of them. And I will focus on them even more to show you that this wasn't opened for a while or maintained for a while. So just be patient i think the lights are set correctly right and if you look there is that white build up on these contacts and that's not okay because that space between the rotor and the contact should be always the same and we have here that white build up and that's not okay and that definitely could cause bad running right do you see that powder which keeps falling off it it could cause all kinds of problems right bad spark and so on to the certain point this is cleanable but many of you will argue with me that this is not even worth cleaning right and doing and it's better to buy this distributor cap brand new, right? Maybe clean this rotor right here, right? You can use a very fine sandpaper 
and clean this area right that it's nice and even or also just go ahead and replace the rotor too so this is old tech right normally we don't show it in this channel but this is what people were dealing with in the past right today we have these coil overs right the coil over the spark plug it's very easy this these parts don't exist do you see that white powder there i just want to show it to you right so i'm filling it right i'm taking it off but once again the very correct way these caps are not very expensive and the contamination is so heavy here that is that should be basically just replaced as a part of the tune-up right i found out these spar plugs are not very good right the white ash and they didn't look new they were just correct dancers but they look older so this cap right definitely uh, i should probably recommend to be replaced so i want to show you that let's go look i will show you close up of this rotor maybe one more time those ashes right when i have that camcorder off the tripod so you see that contact should be basically when it's brand new it's that black black color right that white residue is non-existent on it this is that center part which is pushing on top of the rotor right this seems to be in the good condition there's no problem with it you are just checking that the, there is a spring it's loaded right so it has a, like a soft spring which is keeping it touching the rotor so finally let's go look on the rotor which is right here right that's that center of that little dimple which i just show you which is pushing on it right and also this end should be cleaned right there is no build up on it so the gap the distance between this tip and the contacts in the rotor it's correct constant right and that distributor can correctly distribute that high voltage to the spark plugs now I will show you one more thing before I will let you go if you want to change the timing it's done on these types of engines right it's done right here you loosen this screw I guess it's a screw not a nut so you loosen that and while you have a timing light pointed on the main crank down there right and your timing light it's hooked the clamp is hooked to the number one wire for the uh, for the spark plug right you when you loosen that nut you are able turning it clockwise or counterclockwise you can adjust the timing of the engine to the specification right which is required so this is basically a bunch of stuff which is needed um, to know about this kind of tech in this case distributor right on the 22RE Toyota engine always make sure this rubber o-ring is good and it's not allowing any oil dust water and so on moisture right inside of this distributor looking inside other than that it looks into good condition i don't feel any excessive play on it right this is normal it's not moving up and down and so on and sideways so i do i believe that the bottom is good there's not a problem i will just or I should recommend the owner replace the cap probably the wires if we cannot find out how old they are right spark plugs and also this rotor and it shouldn't be very expensive so in this video I brought you in the old times right back in the memory lane these things you don't see very often anymore because all the technology went forward and you can see this only on the older vehicles as we said it's a 91 toyota 
pick up with approximately 240,000 miles. Of course, as you can imagine, I just drove it a little bit around the building and it drives absolutely perfectly and there was no hesitation and the engine was pulling strong and it's just, you know, routine inspection for the owner that she knows what could be done as a maintenance. So I hope you enjoy this video and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.